Bezrat Hashem. People are asking for a tip for Shalom Bayit. What can be a key for Shalom Bayit? So I'll tell you the truth. I was thinking, what can be the best, the best tip for Shalom Bayit? It's to understand that Shalom Bayit doesn't come automatically. Shalom Bayit, it's not something we should expect to be there automatically. I think the main cause of divorce is when a couple getting to know each other before they're married, before they're getting married, each one gives his best, the best of himself, the best show he can. It's not real life, it's not reality. And after they're getting married, before they're getting married and after they're getting married, they're expecting it to be paradise. They, they assume they must get along. And soon as the first fight comes, each one gets in his heart the feelings, oh, maybe I made a mistake over here. Could be that's not the right shiduch for me. Look how we fight now. I'm saying that, she says the opposite. I'm saying black, she says white. I'm saying white, she's saying left. We assume that it should work. And that is the mistake. It's not supposed to work. A man is a different kind of a creature than a woman, and a woman is a different kind of a creature of a man. They're so not alike. They, so, they think so not alike. They understand things so not alike. They feel things so not alike. It should not work. If you see that it works, that is a miracle. The default is, a man and a woman cannot stay and live together. And if not for the motive that Hashem Yitbarach created to have children, they won't get, they will not get along. If we want to understand before we're getting married, if we want Shalom to be in our house, that means we need to give in and we need, we need to forgive and to bend ourselves down to make ourselves a pretzel in order to remold and unite and connect with the spouse, it's not going to work automatically. For Shalom Bayit, we need a lot of work. And it's not happening automatically because a man is mostly a person of a practical. He's a practical person. And i give an example. When... Uh, you're in the middle of work, in your office, and you get a phone call from your wife. And she says to you, the, 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 the washing machine is leaking. You're in the middle of work, and you have 100, 100 people around you, and you're busy, and you have no room in your mind even to think about the washing machine now. So you tell her, what's the first reaction of a regular husband, a regular man? What do you want from me now? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm in the middle of the office. What, what do you expect me to do? And she goes off this phone call feeling, he doesn't like me, he doesn't love me, he doesn't care about me. I just presented him a problem and he's yelling at me, what do you want from me? Wait for the, then they call the plumber. What are, you, what are you bothering me now? What's the truth? What's behind this phone call? Why is she calling him, telling him in the middle of the day that the washing machine is leaking? Does she think there's a remote control to fix the washing machine from uh, Manhattan? Why is she calling him to Manhattan to tell him that the washing machine is leaking? A woman is, is, a, is, a, is a kind of a person that needs to share her feelings. And she wants to share the, her experience and her feelings with her husband. If the washing machine is leaking, it's not just the leak in the washing machine that needs to be fixed. It's an experience that she's going through. The washing machine is leaking. And now I need to share it with my husband. If he's going to pick up the phone and say to her, oh, I can't believe it. How can you manage? What are you going to do about it now? You know what's going to be her response? Most likely. Look at him. He's making a big deal out of nothing. She called him to tell him about the big deal that she's going through. She's almost crying on the phone. And soon as he picked up and he says, how can you manage? How can you handle it? He, she's already coming up with, don't worry about it. I'll manage. Don't worry about it. What she needed she needed him just to feel for her, to be there for her. If we understand that we don't think alike and we don't feel alike and we need to study it, this is something that we really need to go into and study it, then 
will have a better chance of shalom bait. יהיה רצון שנזכה לכולנו שהשכינה תשרה בינינו ויהיה השלום שורה בביתנו, אמן ואמן.